Tonight we begin with a developing story we're staying on top of here at News 3. A case involving a possible serial killer in Virginia. And today authorities revealed the victims they know about and they're working to see if there are more victims around the Commonwealth and beyond. News 3 investigator Zach Dahlheimer joins us in studio, breaking down what we know about this investigation so far. And Zach, some of these details are pretty disturbing. Yeah, Ted, this is a suspect that's being dubbed the shopping cart killer. We'll explain that in just a moment. Now, police say this suspect may have killed at least four people. Tonight, we're hearing from local police departments on whether there are any local connections to this case. He preys on the weak. He preys on the, the, the vulnerable. Um, and he does unspeakable things with his victim. Friday, Fairfax County Police announcing a coordinated effort with Harrisonburg Police investigating a possible serial killer in Virginia named the Shopping Cart Killer. Authorities say this person is said to meet people on dating sites and eventually motels. And after killing them, the suspect uses shopping carts to dump the bodies. Officials say they believe they have the suspect in custody, 35-year-old Anthony Robinson. The victims range in age from 29 to 54 years old. Harrisonburg police say last month they found two female victims in an open lot in a commercial district in the city. They tell us Robinson was arrested as a result of surveillance video and cell phone records connecting him to the two victims. Both women were discovered within a short distance of each other. Uh, dead, um, although their deaths took place at two separate times. Meanwhile, Fairfax County authorities found a shopping cart in a wooded area with a lone container. Inside the container were what are believed to be the remains of Miss Cheyenne Brown, a 29 year old woman from Washington, D.C., and those of another unknown person. We have determined that the suspect in custody in Harrisonburg was communicating with Miss Brown, utilizing a dating website. Fairfax County Police believe there may be other victims throughout the Commonwealth, and now is the time to act. We need to act right now with our law enforcement partners to figure out who else our killer has had contact with and what's his MO, dating sites, motels, blunt force trauma, shopping cart, final resting place. News 3 reached out to law enforcement agencies in Hampton Roads for any possible connections to this case. Isle of Wight County Sheriff's officials tell us their department has had no contact with agencies in regard to any missing persons or have any cases they suspect are related to the Fairfax case. They added, quote, we pray for the families and friends of those still missing, that the arrest may lead to the whereabouts of their loved ones. Meanwhile, police in Fairfax County have this message for impacted families. Justice will prevail and the offender will be held accountable. And Ted, tonight we're also hearing from Williamsburg Police who tell us Fairfax County Police have not contacted them regarding missing persons, but they say they will help them in any way they can if Fairfax County were to reach out. Now, authorities in the investigation tell us there may be other victims in this case and say if you have any information to speak up. Now, if anybody wants to reach authorities, what's the best way to do that? Well, for one, Ted, uh, they can contact the Fairfax County Police Major Crimes Bureau. That number there right there on your screen, 703-246-7800. Now, you can also submit tips anonymously through their Crime Solvers Program. That number, 1-866-411-TIPS. And we have all this info right now up on our website, WTKR.com. All right, Zach, thanks so much. You bet.